Yes! I just want to put on display. Whoa. Full racing mode. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be reviewing the Nobleman TK02 helmet. I've been looking for a full face helmet for one wheel trail riding and racing. There's a lot of dust that gets kicked up on the trails. You end up looking like you just came from World War III. This is a solution I've been looking for, a modular helmet that provides a visor, covers your lower face as well, and also looks stylish. Let's get into it. Well, wow. Holy smoke. When I saw this online, it was like white, but this is actually like a chalk white. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it's like an off white. And I actually really prefer this, and it works really well. The silver accents are a little reflective, and it just looks so badass. Look at this. I don't know if it reflects at night, probably not. <laughs> are you just in awe right now? <laughs> Almost dropped the camera. Damn, look at this. The amount of detail that went into this is absolutely amazing. The silver reflective, the white really pops out. I mean, you guys have to see this in person. Mirrored rainbow reflective, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> the inner shade visor. What I'm really excited about is the face shield with this to cover the dirt hitting the bottom of your face. Up until now, I've been using a bike helmet with um, some magnetic goggles but it's still at the end of a long trail ride day. Uh, the bottom half of my face is just black and it's just really annoying. So this is something I'm really looking forward to. What do you think of it? I like it. Thank you for sending me this. <laughs> <laughs> I almost don't want to wear it. I just want to put on display. Yeah. Holy canola. Really nice. Normally I wear a large and I got the large. So let's see. It's a little snug. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Full racing mode. Padding is really comfortable. It has just enough give. It's got the quick release buckle as well, which is really convenient. Take it off like this too, without even having to remove the face shield, which is really nice. Now keep in mind, Noble Van doesn't have size small. So, it starts at medium. I would say this probably fits in between a medium and large. So medium slash large. So if you're kind of like on the edge of sizing, I would recommend you go up to size XL if you're size L. The texture, it's got this like carbon fiber. Everything feels super solid. The clasp and the buckle are also metal. Padding inside is called Cool Max. And you can see it has a good amount of breathability inside. Nice cushioning and also holes for good ventilation. If there were like two portholes, like next to the skull here, it would have been just absolutely amazing for additional airflow. And then maybe two on the back, but I'll test it out and see how it feels. I'm good with a half helmet protection level with the full face functionality, but these side pieces for the ear and cheeks really get me extra hot, especially on a long trail ride. So my preference is to actually remove this. And then what this is gonna give me is additional space on the side sides of the helmet, and also not as much heat that's being wrapped around me. At least the sides uh, of my face are still protected by the shell. There's no padding inside, but I'm cool with that. So just a little hack out there for those of you who get extra hot with full face helmets. You can still slide your whole head in 
with the face shield on. It's pretty convenient. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The ears don't even touch on anything, so it just really slips right on. It's really snug still. So, oh yes, yeah, such a relief. This is gonna be perfect for me. Mm. I'm talking that the chin occasionally grazes this. That's uh, some slight cushioning inside as well, if in case you did hit your chin. These uh, portholes or has some mesh inside. So this is the view inside the helmet. Damn, looks great for both male and female. <laughs> we got a pamphlet here. Our logo's meaning. Outer lines were inspired by Batman. Some of the riders. Next thing I want to try are the elbow guards. It has a slot for your Bluetooth headset or radio that you can slide underneath here. On both sides you can slide your uh, radio or Bluetooth module, so that's pretty convenient. I've seen the TSG helmets out there and they're super popular, but I never really understood why. I don't know, it just seems very one-dimensional full face helmet. I love how this is modular. For roughly the same price range, this I believe is $399. Plus, you'll get a 5% discount with the code MAXSEND, M-A-X-X-S-E-N-D. Go towards more gear on their website or like three coffees on me. So drop that promo code when you're checking out. Save some extra few bucks. By the way, this helmet is really light for a full face helmet. Definitely does not feel heavy, bulky on the head. Doesn't like make your head topple over like a bobble head. So love that. So do consider supporting a small business centered around e-skate riders by e-skate riders. Only cons, I wish there were some portholes on the top here, at least two, and then two exit heat holes. A face shield, if it was just protruding out, just maybe half, even a centimeter more would make such a big difference. But I do like the padding inside the face shield. You a microphone logo in here. That is there. The last con is they made this so damn beautiful and sexy. It's like you don't even want to mess it up. Like I don't want to scratch it or drop it or even fall on it. <laughs> Fit is actually really nice, so I, I'm gonna stick with the large. I think it fits pretty true to size, just slightly snug. It comes in this chalk white and matte black. So check it out. See you guys on the next video.